Hello, and welcome. In this video, we will introduce you to the MNIST database, which contains a large set of handwritten digits. This database is a great tool for experimenting with deep learning models. But before we get into the structure of MNIST, let's briefly cover the main ideas behind deep learning. Deep learning is a branch of machine learning that uses algorithms to model high-level abstractions in data. Typically, this involves the use of multiple processing layers, complex structures, and multiple nonlinear transformations. The main thing to note is that since our brains use a large interconnected structure, a machine should do the same to achieve better results. In this context, the term deep refers to a neural network with a large number of hidden layers, regardless of the type of layers that are used. Research papers have shown that deep neural network architectures can achieve better results than their shallow counterparts. In our case, the term learning refers to the process of supervised learning. For the handwritten digit problem, we start with a set of images that are labeled with the known correct digit. Each image is broken down into pixels, and these pixel intensities form the image's features. The network goes through a training process in order to build a function that will map the inputs to the desired outputs. In other words, it needs to learn how to map a set of pixels that describe an image into a digit from 0 to 9. This training process is performed using the previously labeled images, and it continues until the network achieves a desired level of accuracy. According to Jan LeCun's website, MNIST is a database of handwritten digits with 60,000 samples for training and 10,000 samples for testing. The database is a subset of a larger set available from NIST. The authors have invested a lot of time on the dataset with normalization and centering operations, so each digit is centered in a fixed size image. We're going to import the MNIST dataset using TensorFlow, but keep in mind that this is a highly optimized dataset. As a result, you'll need to build your own code if you actually want to visualize the digits. The one hot equals true argument means that the label for each digit will have one distinct bit turned on. For example, 5 and 0 in standard binary would look like this. But using the single bit one hot vector representation, they would look like this. The imported data can be broken up into a few distinct subsets. The training set is used throughout the learning process. So for example, when the neural network analyzes a digit, it can observe the corresponding label in order to improve its predictions. From the training data, we also reserve 5,000 data points for a validation set. The validation set is used to generate model properties, like classification error, for example. It's also used to determine the optimal number of hidden units or the stopping point of the backpropagation algorithm. The 10,000-point test set contains data that the model never saw during training. It's used to evaluate the model's performance on unfamiliar data in order to gauge how much the model truly learned. At this point, you should have a basic understanding of the structure of the MNIST dataset. Thank you for watching this video. To practice and learn more, go to the lab and run the code for yourself.